Hi Taurus, welcome to your January 2017 love reading. It's Serena here. card that never stops coming up. It feels like it's un it's uneven, but there's nothing I can do about it right now because I'm in the middle of things. So you got the same card, and I think it was the same position as Scorpio, which is your opposite sign, and you got, and I wonder if you're going to be dealing with a Scorpio, um, you got the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment card, the card of um, having, you know, whatever it is that you want, the thing that you've been wanting to have come to fruition and I hope this isn't too grainy because I'm recording this in a dim light but anyway um, that's a very positive yes card you know for anything that you've been wanting and in this case because it is a love reading if there was some person that you have been wanting to get involved with that person may come into your life and that may be the the feeling in January that you that you finally got what you wanted now, in the recent past, we have this card of kind of, um, what would you call this? The, the Knight of Swords is an energy of somebody who is very blunt in their speech. Um, this could literally be a, a man in his 20s or 30s. Um, you know, maybe this is somebody that you were involved with. It could be that this man is an air sign, Gemini. A very common one that's an adjacent sign to yours or an Aquarius another fixed sign that you may tangle with from time to time or it could be a, a Libra and this person may have been in your past because they were not compatible with you in some way and now you have a feeling of Happiness. Now, maybe this happiness has nothing to do with finding a new person, uh, because the the energy coming in is the the wheel of fortune. So it sounds like you're just in general experiencing a lot of good juju, a lot of you know happy times. You see the person that's falling off the wheel. That's supposed to symbolize how sometimes we are aligned. And everything is going our way and then sometimes um, it's like things are off and so the timing of your life everything seems to be going the way you want it to go so maybe your career is doing well Taurus maybe you're just having a lot of good fortune and you know you are someone who feels like you want to experience it in the love arena and maybe now it's finally that was the one area that you couldn't have, and it's um, now it's coming true. Now, I was just thinking while I was talking about Jupiter. Um, you know, Jupiter is in Libra. Jupiter is, in, is the sign right before Scorpio, your opposite sign. So, it's transiting your sixth, your sixth house, um, for the next. 11 months no actually 10 months until next um october okay so and then it will go into your seventh house of committed partnerships so that'll be good for love but that's somewhere down the line but that's interesting because then you know maybe you'll find your if if you if you have an expansive uh jupiter influence starting in 
the fall of 20, or well, I'm talking about for, North, for the Northern Hemisphere, but in October of 2017, that could mean that you meet that person that you, you know, of your dreams before then. And Jupiter is in the sixth house, so that could help your, your work li life. Your workload might be just increasing, expanding. And you may be like, wow, you know, everything is going your way. The only thing is that, you know, um, how do you meet this person? Well, it could be that you met this person. Um, we did have a solar eclipse in your fifth house in September in Virgo. Okay, the fifth house is a house of romance. And a solar eclipse is a very powerful new beginning. And it is something that can extend out months later. So it could be some something you someone you meet in December, possibly, if you're watching in December. Maybe you'll meet that person in December. But going into January or in January, you're going to be feeling on top of the world for some reason. And something to note is that the Nine of Cups, even though it's a card of emotional well-being, it's also a card of abundance. The cups typically relate to the emotional side of life, but it would, for some reason, for the nine and ten of cups, it's also physical, or well, I shouldn't say physical. It's also material well-being. Um, this could be somebody that maybe you were with an air sign and now you're with a water sign individual. So that would be. Um, uh, <laughs> I was thinking of something else when I said that. The, the water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What I was thinking of, because I was thinking of that Wheel of Fortune coming in, and I was thinking, okay, Wheel, Wheel of Fortune is connected to Jupiter. I just mentioned Jupiter. I wasn't, you know, connecting the dots there. But Jupiter is in your sixth house. Maybe you meet the person through work. That's what I was trying to say. Well... Here's the higher message. The higher message is some of you may finally have met your soulmate and that this card may be representing that. This is a card of childhood, the past. Again, we do have a Mercury retrograde that is going to be um, from December 19th until January 8th. So if you're watching in December, it's coming up. Most likely, if you're watching in... Um, and it will start for Taurians, this, this uh, Mercury retrograde will start in the 8th house and go back into the 7th. Oh, no, no, it will not. Well, no, 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 sorry about that. It'll start in the 9th and go back to the 8th, okay. Because it starts out in Capricorn. So the Capricorn is your 9th house. Um, okay, here's an example. If you met somebody while you were traveling that person may get in contact with you. Um, if you met somebody of a different culture, that person could get back to you because the ninth house deals with things like that. Or somebody from a university, either a professor or a fellow student or something like that. So uh, that, that those are all, all just possibilities, not saying that that's going to happen. But the, the it's interesting because the six of cups can relate to uh, someone that you knew growing up, you know, somebody from your childhood. This is a card of childhood or the past. And it, there's a nostalgic tinge to it. So maybe you maybe you hear back from your high school sweetheart or somebody. Uh, maybe you had some kind of a high school reunion and you kept in touch with some of the people and then somebody got a hold of you. However, this could just be the card of meeting your soulmate. The, the thing that um, crosses you is the hangman. Now, I did pick it. I guess I did pick it. Um, I did pick it in reverse, actually, because it was upright when I went like this. But, you know, it's going to be whatever is the more challenging definition. And I think that there could be a, a situation where if you have, um, perhaps you're with somebody right now and, um, and you're just um, not happy with that relationship, but you still have not 
decided to leave them. So that may be that you have to leave that individual in order to move on with your life. And so, because the hangman in reverse or a challenge, sometimes reverse cards can be the more positive interpretation, but in the hangman's case, I think the reverse is the, the more challenging. And it's basically like somebody who refuses to make a decision even though they must, or they are hanging on to the past. And um, I don't feel like the Six of Cups is somebody, neg like a negative situation. I f I, it's not in the reversed position. So I feel like that is not, if you, if you, you know, come into contact with somebody that you knew in the past, I don't feel that that's hanging on to the past at all. I'm referring to maybe um, if you were, if the Knight of Swords is somebody that you're with still, that person, you may be afraid to leave that relationship for some reason. It may be as simple as material security or just because you don't like change. You know, most, both of those could be in play for a Taurus person. But in either case, if you don't make a decision, then it drags on and you don't really feel free to be in you know, to, to kind of um, have a new chapter in your life. You're still, you're still hanging on with the old. The advice is the Seven of Pentacles. So if there is somebody new, you, you're going to have to just uh, have the patience to see how things play out. If it is somebody, like maybe you're attracted to somebody in your workplace because the Pentacles can relate to work. Um, you know, or money, you know, where money is exchanged, you might have to just observe how you two get along um, before you, you know, just uproot your life. And, and you know, it's, it's kind of an assessment and a, a need for patience to see if something is really worth pursuing uh, fully, you know. Um, but you do have, you know, I think that you, you may have something really good going on. It's just a matter of you've got, you possibly have something that needs to be dealt with from the past. It could be a Pisces individual because the hangman can refer to, um, can be, I think it's ruled by Neptune, so that would be a connection to Pisces. So if you have a former partner who is a Pisces or somebody who you're currently with who's a Pisces, and that person is not somebody that you want to be with, you may still have unfinished business that you have to deal with with that person, whether you like it or not. And, uh, or maybe th that person is in and out of your life and they come in and they m try to manipulate you, guilt you into getting back with them. And that may just be something that is coming up for you or that you have to deal with. And maybe you're going to have to figure out a way to make it stop for, you know, in a permanent sort of way. However, that can be arranged. Um, you'll have to figure that one out. But the outcome is the Queen of Wands. And this is a card. You see that she's holding a sunflower. I, I, you know, I actually think this is associated with Sagittarius. So I don't know if any of you are dealing with Sagittarians, per se. Because as I said, Jupiter rules Sagittarius. Um, I don't get that necessarily that vibe and uh, but but whatever um i think that this particular card is speaking of you know but i i think that i'm i'm wrong about that i think that this is leo actually because the sun the sun um rules leo and I, I think that's why she's holding a sunflower. But a fire sign, you know, because the wands are fire. But it's a card of, like, happiness. Um, it, it is a feminine type of an energy. Um, for those of you who are women who are in the workplace, this could be you as a career woman. Because, as I said, that both of those cards, the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, could be, you know, good things at work. But somehow that is also putting you in such a high vibe that maybe you attract that soulmate person. It could be on the job, but you're happy, you're positive, um, you are confident. Those are all the qualities of the Queen of Wands. And if you're a man, you can still be a queen, a queen for a day. 
um, because it's just the queen just represents the feminine principle and the the wands indicate the masculine principle the fire and the the feminine and you know um, when they're well balanced like that with the male and the female energy it's like you have access to the intuitive as well as the kind of the the uh, worldly or the external power the internal power and the external power are coming together so there's a sort of a, I would call it like a a unification or some kind of a feeling within you that is well balanced and you know regardless of what gender you are and but it's a positive card that's the most important thing where you're feeling like you know raring to go um, that you really have this this healthy ambition and also this this joy for life so some something is giving you that it, it definitely is a career energy but it's also I feel like because of the other cards it could be that everything is going your way Taurus and that would be really cool for that to happen so I hope you enjoyed this it is a general reading obviously but um, hopefully at least some of those cards you know resonated with you if you'd like a private reading please click on the link below and um, you can check out my website but uh, in any case take care of yourself bye